eight. Over nine. Six. The correct number, six. Ten. <laughs> That's three straight losses, Hank. That's a wondrous thing. <laughs> it's not a wondrous thing. It's a Ukrainian thing. You know about Ukrainian numerals, don't you? Huh? It's an easy concept, but it messes a guy like Hank up because there's only four numbers. One, two, three, and a bunch. <laughs> uh, now you have now paid an average of $18.45 for your morning coffee year to date. Hank, did you lose again? <laughs> well, Josie, the thing is, they cheat. Oh. Mother. Now, I don't know how they do it. Some sort of diabolical arrangement, a pact with the devil, maybe, but they cheat. Come on, Hank, you've just figured out a way to defy the law of averages. Well, it's technically impossible. <laughs> Are you done with that? Well, I'm trying to watch my slim figure. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hey, Josie, can I please have a diet water? <laughs> Don't worry, Hank. They love you just the way you are. We love you just the way you are. She wants your body, Hank. Oh, what are you talking about? She's just being friendly. Oh, I don't know, Hank. Tazzy might be onto something. She gave you the cup with no chip. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> She's that way to everyone. I'll be right back with my niece. Oh, here you go, Bill. You're sweet and low. Josie, did you? Yes, Dolly, that's milk, not cream. Hey, Sam. Hi. Uh, Josie, uh, I'd like you to meet my new son-in-law, Wayson. Hey, Way, nice to meet you. Nihoma. Uh, Josie, I hate to tell you this, but, uh, Wayson has just come over from Singapore to live with my daughter, but they got married over there. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, now he needs a job. I'm gonna have to let you go. Today's your last day. Stanley, we have three kids at home. I'm really sorry, but, but, but you do a heck of a job. And of course, you won't have any problems finding a job in this town. It's a family thing. Yeah. You understand? I'll tell you, Josie, it wasn't for you, I'd go someplace where the tables aren't rigged. What's the matter? Nothing. Fine. Josie, eyes I got. Fine you or not. What's wrong? Stanley. Mr. Chu, just leave me off. You can't do that. He owns the place. Hank, he could do anything he likes. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, doesn't he realize the only reason we come here is because you keep that? Thanks, Hank. I gotta go. Stanley fired Joseph! What? He can't do that. That's what I said! Crappy world, eh? Everything going right down the toilet. People complain. Nobody does anything about it. So that's the thing, eh? Everybody says, Hank, calm down. Take it easy, Hank. Don't get so excited. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. You know what happens if you go with the flow in my business? You end up right in the sewage lagoon, that's where. You understand what I'm saying? It's just wrong, Taz. Wrong! 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 Tomorrow. You know something? You know what you and me are gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna do something about it. We're not gonna complain anymore. We're not gonna talk about it. We are gonna take action tomorrow. Men of action! <laughs> get a cell phone. And then if you feel like uh, really living dangerously, maybe you get yourself maybe a toaster or something, man. Eh? What do you want a cell phone for? So I got everybody calling me all the time, complaining, whining. Oh, Hank, why aren't you at the job site yet? All the subcontractors waiting for you. Like, I don't need that. 
Wait, watch this. Bill, Bill, how the heck are you? <laughs> Listen, Bill, I hate to tell you, but we got ourselves a terrible septic backflow in there right now. Worst one since 1982. Frozen hair clots the whole nine yards. Mm. You know, Bill, you ought to go down to Iverson's, you know, they do a great jelly fill down there. It, it, Bill, Bill, coffee's pretty good too, on me. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. Septic backflow? What could happen? Yeah, you might get a cell phone too. Oh, oh, here we go again. Okay, all right. Watch, learn. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Couldn't help but notice that your fellow tradesman, like myself, Hank Walchuk, licensed plumber, Feel obligated to inform you that uh, I've been conducting some water tests on this uh, business located immediately to my right. Don't look, don't look. Heavy arsenic levels. It's copper pipes. But you gotta go with the PVC these days. There's enough arsenic in the pie crust, drop you dead right where you stand. Mid fork, so to speak. Terrible way to go. Go with God. Hank, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Josie. Uh, well, I'm just, just, uh. Are you making sure that? I'm making sure that Stanley knows that you're missed. What are you doing here? Oh, Stanley, you would have my last check ready. You're trying to ruin my business. You can't do that. That's what I said. Actually, that's what he said, and it was about oh, you. Oh, right, hang on now, Stanley. I can do whatever I want. Hey, I mean, you might own half the buildings in this place, but this here, right here, this sidewalk, is public property. Well, why are you doing this? What have I done to you? Done to me? What about Josie? What'd you, what'd you lay her off for? She's a single mom. She got three kids. She got mouths to feed. Now, Hank. Now, Hank, nothing. There's principles involved here, Stanley. Higher principles are involved. Why are you saying I'm not principled? I know principles, Hank. I know right and wrong. What do you know about my family? Let's go easy here, folks. What seems to be the problem? Thank God. Roger, you're here. This man is trying to ruin my business. He's stopping everyone from going to my cafe. This man? Oh, oh. Now it's now it's this man. That's what we've come to, huh, Stanley? We're just homo sapiens. OK. OK, let's calm down here. Is he right? Are you stopping his customers? Stop, sir. My associate and I here are conducting a perfectly legal consumer boycott. Legal or not, arrest him. Maybe legal, but here's what I want. You go down there, at least 100 feet, and you do your organizing down there. 100 feet. No closer. Now, or you and I are going downtown. It's OK, Hank. <laughs> I know the difference between right and wrong, Stanley. And let me tell you something. Something could go wrong right here. And there'll be nobody here to fix it. You can't really talk. Yeah, you can't really we're not away. going with the flow, Stanley. There's no toilets here. That's right. That's right. Action. It's action that solves problems. Direct action. No flow, right? Right. Right. Grayson. Yes, boss? Dolly, 
Dolly, it's Hank. Hank? Straight ahead. <laughs> what? A boycott? Josie got laid off by Stanley, and none of us are going in there until he hires her back. I need you on this. Come on now. This is a matter of higher principle. Okay, I guess so. All right, that a girl. Jeez. Ah, the hamburger was <sighs> sandwiches. Ah, the hamburger was sandwiches. Plumbing emergency. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ernie. Higher principles. This is illegal. You heard the policeman. He said. He said 100 feet, and it is exactly 109 feet right to there. How about it? Because I paced it off. Well, that's not accurate. It is when I pace it off. That's ridiculous. And besides, that's not the point. The point is, you have no business attacking my business. This isn't about business, Stanley. Oh, yeah. right, right. This is where you also attack my principles. That's right, because that's what this is about. You know what? You, you know what this is about? This is about racism. You, Stanley, are a racist. How can I be a racist? I'm Chinese. Why don't you take your shiny new principles and just... Why don't you hire Josie back at the cafe? Well, even if I could, I'm not about to be bullied by the likes of something. Oh, bully, bully. Now it's bully. Before it was this man, now it's bully. Not business, hey? What's this, then? This is a lot of quarters. You out of your mind? I think not. That's theft. You're stealing. That is illegal. That's theft. Under $500. Not a lot of money, but it's still important. It's still illegal. You know why? Because of the principle! Yeah, right. The principle is you have cost me ten times as much money. A thousand times as much money. Oh, man. Thought we had this little matter resolved. He's phoning my customers, scaring them off. He stole my money. Oh, I gave it back. He stole it first. That's still illegal. Arrest this man, officer. Here's what we're going to do. Aim for assault. You are gonna... Assault right. with a deadly weapon. Weapons! What? These quarters are deadly missiles. You could have took out an yeah, eye. Let's what? try to keep this to a reasonable level. You are a flaming lunatic. Oh, see, that's the difference between you and me. I attack your principles, but you, you attack my character. Gentlemen, I'm only oh. going to say this one oh, more hey. time I've here. I offended your character, hey? Yes, you oh. have. Well, here, let me fix that. Hey, well, that, that's well, enough now well, here, from the both here, of you. Here, take one. Take one. I'm not taking no, one. That's, that's evidence. That's, that's enough. Two. He is take tampering two. with evidence. Oh, I've offended your character, Hank. Well, call someone who cares. I said that's enough. Oh, there's no need to shout, officer. It's just a friendly disagreement. Friendly disagreement? Yeah. Stanley and I, we've known each other for, what is it, 15 years? Yeah, about that, I say. Kids used to play on the same hockey team. You know? This kid was a puck hog. Oh. <laughs>
But you are out of line on this one. And you know that Josie's the best damn waitress you ever had in that place. Well, what you don't know is I... What was that? Hang on, I'm a licensed plumber. Oops. Sorry about this, Stanley. You know, I would never have told Taz to do something like that, but he must have thought I did. Well, it's okay. There's no bodily harm done. <laughs> Unless, of course, you count Taz's eyebrows. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all tickety-boo. <sighs> Sorry about the sprinkler action in there. Ah, need a bit of a scrub down. Uh, I guess it got pretty wet, though, eh? It's okay. You know, I just have to send some aprons over to have them dry. Well, if you need any, I, I got quarters. I'm joking. Stanley, I'm joking. Can you hear that they're thinking about changing the names of the Four Seasons in Alberta to uh, almost winter, winter, steel winter, and road construction? <laughs> road con road construction. What are you looking at? What you do to your eyebrows? Nothing. Oh, you did too. No, did you did not. too. Did not. Yeah, that's what it is. You put mascara on your eyebrows. Where would I get mascara? Uh, well, there you have me. So what is it? What's what? The, the black bubbly stuff where formerly you had eyebrows. It's burnt cork, okay? Is it, like, obvious? <laughs> no, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Burnt cork, eh? Mm -hmm. Where'd you learn this little trick, Tazzy? Oh, Halloween. I used to dress up like Darth Vader every year, but with a hockey helmet on. Yeah, that's how you know you're an Albertan, though, because uh, you'd have to design your Halloween costume to fit over your skidoo suit, right? Eh? It's just it was a skidoo. Okay, there wasn't much left of them. Okay. Yeah. Everything ship shape. Order has been restored. What happened to your eyebrow? <laughs> oh, that isn't my two favorite pair of abacus. Blow up any buildings lately? Torch any missions? Well, we fought the flow and we won, Josie. Yeah. It's good to have you back, Josie. Thanks. I can't say I approve of your methods, but I know why you did it. I appreciate it. At least it wouldn't have been the same without you. Is that yours, Hank? Yeah, I never, never leave home without it. Well, just keep my runway clear. Oh, you bet. Okay. Hey, Hank. Yeah ever do house calls? Oh, never more than half the time. Okay, because uh, I have this leak in, a, in my kitchen. Oh. Oh, you're bu I know you're busy. I... No, no, actually, uh, you know, things have been getting kind of slow lately. I might have some time. Maybe, maybe later this afternoon. That'd be great. Right. I get off at two and you know my place. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, I'll I'll see ya. Yeah, two. What are you guys looking at? in the kitchen? Yeah, I, I can show you. Oh, this is very nice, the, uh, the colors. Oh, thanks. Excuse the mess, I try to keep a fine line between uh, lived in and utter chaos, but I don't always succeed. And the, the kids, they're still uh, in school? Yes, they'll be home in an hour or so. You don't mind me asking, what happened to their dad? Logging accident. Yeah, they were working down by the river and a big cleaner fell on him. They said he was probably killed instantly. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a while, three years. I'm about your wife, I heard cancer. Yeah, yeah, two years ago. 
kind of funny, eh? And we both have kids, and... Yeah, I guess it wasn't so instant with her, huh? No. It was long and slow and painful. I'm sorry. Do you want some coffee or some juice? No, no, no. Uh, uh, let me let me take a look. Yeah. Well, uh, it's under the sink there. I cleaned out under there. You know, I did that much at least. And it's still leaking on you, huh? Yeah. Well, not right now. I mean, uh, but uh, you know, the, the faucet gets loose and then it starts dripping under there. Well. Where do you see the water? Oh. Well, it kind of drips from there, and, but I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, well, well, leaks, leaks could be like that, you know. <clears throat> oh, well, I've asked Mick, you know, he's my oldest to come fix it a couple times, but he never does. Hey, he's pretty handy, is he? Not too bad, when he wants to be. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> it might be cracked. I could haul it out there and take a look at it. Well, I've tried to tighten it myself a couple times with pliers, but... No, no, you, you don't want pliers. You need a special tool for that. I can't believe you just said that. Well, I can't believe it either.